So this video is going to be a comparison of mitosis and meiosis. So when we look at DNA replication, in mitosis we only have DNA replication taking place during interphase, which is also going to be the same as in meiosis. However, in meiosis, we only have that replication taking place during the interphase that's before prophase 1. Because uh, in the interphase between meiosis 1 and meiosis 2, there uh, is not enough time to replicate the DNA, and we also don't want to replicate it because the whole point of meiosis is to make four haploid cells. So moving on to the number of divisions, in mitosis we have one, and in meiosis we have two, one in meiosis one and one in meiosis two. So the synapsis of homologous chromosomes, so in mitosis that never happens because we don't have homologous chromosomes um, at all in any of that uh, process. However, in meiosis we have synapsis taking place only during prophase one where we have these homologous chromosomes still present in the cell and crossing over taking place, but not during pro, uh, prophase 2, because in prophase 2 we've separated the homologous chromosomes by that point, so the only thing that's left in the cell would be those sister chromatids. So the number of daughter cells in genetic composition, so in mitosis you just get two daughter cells, and both of those daughter cells are not only identical to each other, but they're also identical to the parent cell. In meiosis, however, we have four haploid daughter cells that are each genetically unique from one another as well as genetically unique from the parent cell. So lastly, the role in animals that these two division processes play. So mitosis is going to enable organisms to uh, grow and to repair tissue um, and things of that nature, whereas meiosis, the main purpose of meiosis is going to be the production of gametes. And in that process, we reduce our chromosome number by half and uh, provide some genetic variability. I hope you found this video really helpful. All images, unless otherwise stated, are from Campbell Biology's 11th edition. Remember that if you are an enrolled Baylor student, we do offer free tutoring on the first floor of the Sid Richardson building. You can schedule a free one-on-one -on -one 30 minute appointment or you can drop in during uh, any of our normal business hours. For more details, visit www.baylor.edu slash tutoring.